Hello everybody, my name is Bubba HD and welcome back to Resistance 3. Last time we left off, uh, the Chimera attacked, an idiot kicked over a bottle, he died. We killed a... What is it called? A big spider looking thing. I already forgot what it's called. But now we're here, there's a dropship, let's kill some more Chimera. This is fun. Sit back for the first start. Let them come out. Let the drop should go away. And then start pumping revolver rounds in each one of them that you can. And blow them up. The revolver is really good, and it's one of my favorite guns in this game. Except for that shot. I don't know. It's you I'm usually really accurate with it. Just have that really, really long distance. Because then it's just difficult. But then all you have to do is hit them once, and they're pretty much gonna die. With the bullseye, it takes a lot of bullets. And at long distance, that's when the tag comes in handy. So I've got six tags, and then once you upgrade this thing to level three, pretty much, uh, when you tag out, it'll automatically link to uh, three people instead of just the one. And then I'm not too sure if, like, every, like, when you shoot three bullets, one goes to each, or maybe one, like, it goes, um to one, then one, then one. That I'm not too sure about. Joe! Thank God it's you. What's up, Tommy Dean? I had to turn off my radio. Death squads everywhere. Storm's coming out at the ridge. It ain't like no storm I've ever seen. Come on, I'll show you. Alright, lead the way, Tommy Dean. Or how about a oh wrong button? They seen us. Oh, yeah, they seen us. I kind of threw a grenade. Shrapnel grenades are pretty good. I'm clicking triangle to reload because I'm thinking this is uncharted. And sometimes you don't even have to hit every bullet. You can just hit the one, and as long as they're standing beside the other Chimera, it'll blow them up. I don't find myself using the tag pretty much ever. I'm gonna click triangle about 15 times until I realize it's not real. Okay, just letting you guys know. That's gonna be a thing for a long time. I see you. Dang it. And yeah, melee in this game isn't too good, so. Walking up to them usually isn't good. One second. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Cause I feel like it's pretty loud. Okay. Cause when I was watching my video back, my voice was getting drowned out by a couple things. So hopefully it's good now. Cutscene or loading screen? Not sure. I don't think the game knows either. There we go. Tell me I'm crazy. What the hell is it? It's a terraformer. Susan, you there? I was just gonna call you. A guy just walked into town. Says he knows you. Get a few drones following him. I've got everyone underground just in case. No, we won't be safe underground. We have to evacuate the town. And back to town we go to save Susan and Jack. And I guess everyone else. Chapter 3, Paradise Lost. Well, I, yeah, I kind of figured out how to sprint when you told me last time. Yeah, that's a Goliath. That thing's huge. In Resistance 2, you do kill one pretty early on. But in this game, 
You don't ever kill one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Don't mind me. Don't mind. Just a couple of humans running by is all. Full health. I thought there was another health kit. There is not. Oh. Oh, this is awkward. That can just doesn't care about physics. Yeah, let's not st stick around here. Oh, still no bullets for that. I just want revolver bullets, goddammit. Doesn't look like I'm getting them. So that's a steelhead. They're stronger than normal Chimera, and they have what's called an auger. And I'm about to get that auger. And this is one of also my favorite guns in the game, because it's just awesome. See, they can put up those shields as well, because that's the special specialty of the auger, is putting up that shield that the only thing that can shoot through it is the auger. So there's the auger. L1 looks through auger scope to highlight any enemies, uh, fires powerful energy bolts that burrow through solid objects, and then deploys an energy shield. Uh, upgrade 1 is triple shot, upgrade 2 is sh uh, shock shield, which I'm not too sure what the shock shield does. So, okay, give it a minute, Tommy Dean, get the hell in here. That steel had dropped its auger. It's yours now. You hear that? I think there's more of them on the other side of this. There he is. That I'm not too sure what it means, but the auger is just a lot of fun. It's such a good weapon for obvious reasons. It's like hide behind this rock, and it does have like a delay on the shot. Makes it a little hard to land, but they're just standing still, which they are most of the time. These are pretty easy. And on normal, they only take... Normal Chimera only take two shots. But the only way you can get more bullets of this gun is by finding more steelheads. Oh, dear God. So the main enemy in this game is a Chimera, so you're going to get a lot of bullseye ammo. Not much of anything else. Yeah, let's, let's get the hell out of here. Just run. Just run. I'm glad you have more durability in sprinting or endurance than anyone in COD. Up the stairs, into the I'm I'm going. I ain't sticking around here. These are hedgehog grenades. These are my favorite ones. When it lands, it becomes a mine. So once they get near it, it jump. It's a bouncing Betty, but with like quills, pretty much. Son of a bitch. Just spikes. I know I should be sad, but I ain't. Just angry. Why would you be sad right now? The only reason you should be sad is if, if everyone is dead. And you don't know that yet. We get through the mill and we're home free. Come on, Joe. Oh. I got some bullets for this. Oh, there's a hedgehog grenade. You can see it in action. The other odd to us. Oh, hello, Steelhead. Sometimes you don't actually need to hit them with the bullet. If it's close enough, it'll just blow up. Oh, he's dead. The good thing is you don't need bullets to be able to, uh... Uh, pop the, uh, specials. They're their own ammo. The beauty of the auger. I know you're there. Hello. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's two. Yeah, see, it's delayed sometimes, so it's kind of awkward to hit. Jeez, just die. Holy crap. Oh, good job. Oh, 
I think what I have to do is make sure I'm never talking during the bullseye. Because the bullseye is pretty loud. Little bitch. Oh yeah, give me that revolver. I never even see anyone using the revolver, so I'm not... I guess it's just their sidearm that they just always carry, or sometimes carry. Okay, just stay there and don't move. Makes hitting you a lot easier. Oh, there's a steelhead somewhere. Hello. Give me them auger bullets. I guess I'm full. Although I'm nowhere close to being full. It just didn't drop anything. Bullshit. Let's get back to town. Lead the way, Tommy. Sounds like our guys got him held on the bridge. Let's flank him. Ready? Alright, so I'll lead the way. Hedgehog? Ooh, one hedgehog. What the hell is wrong with that Camaro? Oh, you cheeky little bastard. I can do that too, you know. Okay, yeah, what the hell is wrong with this one? Get out of the way. <laughs> you were one ugly son of a bitch. All right, on my way. Thanks, Joe. You got here just in time. Where's Susan? Last I saw her, she was near the bank. Scrounge for weapons and ammo. Then get back to town. There's more of them on the way. Yes, just grab anything you can pick up. Even the bodies. Who knows? Might run out of food. That's weird. Don't ever do it. There's something wrong with him. Don't do it. I realize how much the Chimera look like the, uh... The things from Joe. Destiny. Except without the eyes. Susan. Is Jack okay? Yes, he's in the tunnel. Get him. Grab all the food, water, and blankets you can carry. Lester, barricade that street. Chimera and ground troops will be here in a few minutes. We'll have to hold them off till the rest of the town evacuates. I want to know who got us into this mess. Malakoff, you goddamn fool, you let him right to us! Still have the anger issues, I see. What's going on? Nothing. Just a crazy old man. Joseph, you must listen. When Nathan detonated the bomb in Mexico, it acted as a catalyst. Power surged through the Chimera Tower Network toward New York City. There, it activated a bridge through space and time. What they call a wormhole. Its purpose is a mystery, but its effects are clear. That tower in New York is slowly freezing our entire planet. I've been trying to find you for months. We're moving everybody upstate. We might have room for one no, more. No, you don't understand. I came here for Joseph. We must travel to New York City. We must shut down the tower. Not a chance in hell. Temperatures are dropping faster. We, we will not survive the winter. <coughs> Any of us. Joe, more dropships in the main street. I'll be right there. Joseph, I'm the only man alive who knows how to shut down that tower. I need you to protect me on the way to New York. You want protection? Here. Ooh, bad blood. Don't like him. He's from the second game. I'm not too sure even what the story is with him. But I think he was with Nathan Hale. Who's the one Joseph shot. Follow the tunnel under the church. 
I'll be right behind you. I'll call you and let you know when everyone's out. Don't wait for us. You and Jack get out of here. Promise. Come on, Joe. All right, so before we get into this big fight, Chapter 4, Women and Children First, I'm going to end this episode. If you guys did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, comment, share it with your friends. I would be very appreciative of it. Um, two things down below you should follow is my Twitter. My Twitch Twitter will notify you anytime a video goes live or I go live on Twitch and I tweet from it sometimes, not often. Same with Twitch. I don't stream on it often, but if I happen to be on, come say hi, chill out, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode of Resistance 3. Peace out.